Thanks, sir.
a husband and um, many children, um, one of which is a very bad child. She was horrible. The night before my bar test, she ran away from home. But <laughs> anyway, I am now in a position to have earned that Truman Scholarship because now I have done some public service and I realized this is where I should have been all of these years instead of representing criminals and divorces, which I continue to do, but uh, I am going to continue this fight. This has been the most rewarding thing I have ever done and that includes having children. <laughs> How many people can say, that they've been able to have a positive impact on thousands of lives? That, that is something that not many people get to do, and thank you all for giving me this honor. The, the, <laughs> I, I've come to love so many people. I've been adopted by so many people over the last few years. Many people call me the mother of the LGBT community, and I do feel that way. I, um, again, it's been an absolute pleasure. These lawsuits have been fascinating, and for some reason, I knew, well, I think that anybody that attended law school and took constitutional law class would know that this was the way it was going to turn out. This, this was a clear violation of equal protection and due process. And the... the decision yesterday written by Justice Kennedy was absolutely gorgeous, but it was right. And there's no question, the other judges that, that um, dissented, they were wrong. And how they're sitting on the Supreme Court of the United States thinking that our Constitution says anything other than what Justice Kennedy said, I, I don't understand that. You all are humans. You deserve to be treated just like anybody else. And you deserve to be loved. Again, thank you for the absolute pleasure of representing your interests over the last few years. And I will still be around working for you, and I want you to know that. Thank you. It's in the shape of Arkansas. On one side we have a quote about the arc of justice from Martin Luther King. And on the other side it says, NWA Pride honors Cheryl K. Maples for her courage and unyielding diligence in working for equality for all in the state of Arkansas. for you. Um, this flag has been all around the state, signed by so many people who are thankful for all the work that you've done, from Conway to Northeast Arkansas to Walmart. We've had BP sign it. Everyone is so appreciative of all the work that you've done, and we hope that you take this as a token and remember it um, for everyone who's so thankful for your work, and we really appreciate everything you've done, more than you know. Thank you so much. At this time, I think we're going to invite uh, Mark Kenyon, the Vice Mayor, to make the Mayor's Proclamation. Uh, 
So we have Mark Kenyon, the vice mayor, and Megan Jordan, is that right? The mayor's daughter. The mayor's daughter. Woo! I tell you what, I, I had no idea that we would have this awesome opportunity to celebrate the uh, Supreme Court decision. And what a, what a glorious day yesterday was. And what a glorious day today it is to be with my community and to share and celebrate a victory. But this is step one. You can be married today, but then you can be evicted from your home tomorrow for marrying the one you love. You can lose your job tomorrow for marrying the one you love. Yes, we've got to celebrate this. This is a victory that is marked in history to show that in the United States of America, we have a constitution that guarantees equal rights. But on September 8th, you have the opportunity to get out and support Fayetteville and our community in Fayetteville. So after we get married to the one we love, we're going to have a place to live, we're going to have a place to work, and we're going to enjoy the protections offered by this opportunity to get out and vote and support. I tell you what, if you know Mayor Jordan, I, he, it's incredible to think that he's not here to celebrate with us today. But on the other hand, you know, being uh, in the gay community myself, it was such an honor that I would be able to present this proclamation on behalf of the city of Fayetteville. Uh, this is from the office of the mayor, and I am joined by Megan Jordan, who is the mayor's daughter and a lovely colleague and friend. Love her to death. Whereas the pride activities are important to their contribution to reducing barriers, misunderstandings, discrimination, and isolation faced by individuals of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community, and it is important for us to celebrate equality, right? And reflect on its importance to us individually and as a nation. And whereas today we celebrate equality as a city that respects and works to uphold the important value, we stand together to break down the stone walls of discrimination, and we seek to weld love together stronger than hate, and hope more powerful than insult or injury. Love wins. That's right. And whereas from generation to generation, ordinary Americans have led marches for toward freedom, fairness, and full equality under the law, not just for some, but for all, and as we celebrate the successes, we are working to build for ourselves and our families a nation where no one, no one is a second-class citizen. No one is denied basic rights. For all of us are free to live and to love as we see fit and where we can all celebrate equality and live our lives unashamed and unbattered. And whereas the city of Fayetteville celebrates equality and supports efforts to ensure that everyone has the right to live in the conditions of dignity, respect, and peace, we recommit ourselves to the standards that community success thrives in an environment of inclusion. And whereas we as a nation have long praised the American value of equality, and with that affirmation, we should assure that we act upon our stated commitment and do not act or desire to limit the equality of some, because where there is unequal treatment, where it exists, equality does not exist. Therefore, on behalf of Mayor Jordan, I'm Mark Kenyon, the Vice Mayor of Fayetteville, Arkansas, and I think Sarah was there, Sarah Marsh, but anyway, I declare that 
and proclaim that Thursday, June 25th through Sunday, June 28th, 2015 as Pride Days here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And the mayor has uh, made his daughter come to express a few words too, so. Well, I didn't find out that I was going to do this until about an hour ago, so y'all bear with me. He says, I'm on family vacation and I can't be with y'all today, but I can tell you, but I can't tell you how proud I am of all of you gathered here today. I am in spirit. I am with you in spirit and heart. First, first, let me say, it is always good to be on the right side of history. You see, my friends, love never fails, and equality always wins. No matter what the cost or the sacrifice, sacrifice we must be willing to pay the price for those of us who do not have the same rights freedoms and protections that others have and this we will do i still see that better day of love and peace and hope together we will take hold of what vision of love and peace and hope we will not only make ourselves better but the world better a world where everyone can be who they are and can believe as they will and can love who they wish to love have a great Pride Day today. Thank you. Does that not sound like our mayor? And you know what else he would say? Don't you just love Fayetteville? Woo! There you go. Thank you guys so much for making that wonderful proclamation. I think we can all agree that Fayetteville is a great place to live and we have a, a strong and supportive mayor who I love so much and I'm very sad he can't be here with us today. Uh, I want to take a minute to thank you all. I'm Chad Allen, president of the Northwest Arkansas Center for Equality. Thank you so much for coming out today and coming to our wonderful parade. Uh, the parade is something that requires so many people, so many volunteers, and uh, hours from people who don't get paid, but do this because they support the community and they want to give um, the community something that they can come to and show their pride. And we had such a great turnout today, uh, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, but none of this would have been possible without the work um, that has done, been done before us. This is the biggest parade that Fayetteville has ever seen, and it started, yes. And the parade started more than 10 years ago, and about 2006, Ken Boyle here, he founded Northwest Arkansas Pride and really got the parade together, and I want to take a second to honor Ken. Let's please give Ken a round of applause for all the work he's done for the past years to get this parade going. Um, so the center has been working with Ken and Northwest Arkansas Pride for the past few months, and I'd like to officially announce our merger. Um, we have absorbed Northwest Arkansas Pride and want to make one community, one center, one pride, and we're very happy to be partnering with them, and we've had such a great job working with you, Ken, and uh, it's, it's so nice to follow in the footsteps that you've led for us. Thank you. merge with NWA quality so we can work together and put on bigger events. Thank you. So, not only do we have the parade, we have a whole festival planned and we're so glad that you guys are here. We have so many sponsors and business partners and people from all over the state, from Oklahoma coming. We have vendors. Um, burgers are provided today by Backyard Burgers. And we have our photo booth over here with props donated by the Artist Laboratory Theater and Cheap Thrills. And we're very excited to have such a strong, supportive community here in Fayetteville and in Northwest Arkansas. So let's take a moment to thank those business partners and sponsors, please, and show your support to them.
And it's not just our business partners, it's individuals like you for coming out and sponsoring and supporting and donating. And we have a donation spin at the end of the line for the burgers if you'd like to help contribute and make pride even bigger and better and help the center grow and support the community in more and different ways. Um, yesterday was obviously a monumental day and I think uh, it's such great timing for us. There was such great energy today and I'm so happy to see everyone out. Um, but as Mark mentioned, the work is not yet done. Uh, you can still be fired on Monday for getting married yesterday and that's not right. And so to speak on that, I'd like to invite Kyle Smith up. Uh, from Fort Fayetteville to talk about the campaign that's going on this year and all the work that they're doing and the support that they need from you. Thanks, Josh. Uh, I'm Kyle Smith. This is Danielle Weatherby. And, and we are here at Fort Fayetteville. Uh, Mark uh, said a lot of, of what I wanted to say about we, we are so proud of Cheryl and the work she did for marriage equality in Arkansas. And of course we are all thrilled about the Supreme Court decision yesterday that brings that to the entire country. But like Mark Kenyon said, we still have work to do. Uh, I want to thank our city council for their long, hard fight for equality in Fayetteville. As, as most of us are aware, they passed an incredible non-discrimination ordinance last August that was then narrowly, very narrowly repealed in December. Less than 480 votes were the deciding factor in a town of 72,000 people, 70-something thousand. And two weeks ago, they are giving us another chance. They uh, have allowed us to vote again on September 8th for a new ordinance that takes into account all of the discussion that happened during the last campaign, we've, we've adjusted it, we've made some changes. This is truly an ordinance for Fayetteville, for all of the residents to have equal protection in their jobs, their homes, and in all of the places of business around town. But for all of us to have that protection, we've all got to work together. Um, I, this is going to be a bit of a downer. Last time, some of you didn't vote. This time, we need everybody to get out and vote. Then we need you to go get your friends and make sure that they are voting too. Early voting, day of, get out there and make your voice heard, Fayetteville. 100 votes for, 200 against. And we wish you the very best on your coming up in September. Now I'd like to give these beautiful flowers to our beautiful attorney who worked so hard for all of us. Please give her a very big hand. I've made a lot of friends in Eureka Springs, as well as in Fayetteville, Little Rock, all over the state. These people are particularly special to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Both of you. Woo! Okay, I'm the last one to speak, promise. My name is Jordan Garcia, board member for development for the Center for Equality. I just want to uh, give a shout out to our sponsors, Eventures Party Rentals. A round of applause for Eventures. PepsiCo and their contributions, thank you. Boucher. Um, I wish I actually had the list with me. Um, oh yeah, C4, sorry. Everyone make sure you come out to the white party tonight, okay? At C4, it starts at 9 o'clock on right off Dixon Street. Um, Clark. Realty, Coldwell Banker, and I think that is it. Oh, I'm sorry, and Backyard Burgers. Everyone, a shout out for Backyard Burgers for donating the hamburgers today. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, and last one, Sam's Club. Thank you, Sam's Club. Okay, a few last things. We, we are doing um, free HIV testing over here at this big tent um, provided by NWA Hope. 
so please get your free HIV test today. Don't forget our hashtag NWA Pride on all your Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter. Um, so please re remember hashtag NWA Pride. Chad, was there anything else I was supposed to say? Okay, so this is it. So now I'm going to welcome Buxana. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. So excited to be here. Waiting for it to the spot. 